This was a super short hike, only a few miles. I initially planned to do a longer hike over the weekend, but I had other commitments and I wouldn't have been able to have enough time to really enjoy myself. I think making these videos are fun, but ultimately you want to be able to enjoy yourself um, first and foremost. And if you're just doing it just to film for the tube, that's a fast track to hating a good hobby, I believe. You need to allow yourself some space and some time to, to process your, your hikes and the places that you go to and the, um, the experiences that you consume. That said though, I did want to get out for the day and do something um, as it was lovely weather and so I took a short hike in the new forest. I took my new-ish Nemo bike packing tent with me just so that I could have some reprieve from the sun and the bugs. Yeah. <laughs> Get out and enjoy the good weather, but hide from the sun. I love this tent, by the way, and I'm, I'm not going to do like a full review on it because I don't like I don't want this video and this channel to become like a gear review kind of page. It's just for me to explore my creativity and just to have something to do outside of my day job. Um, but I will say that I've had this thing out in 30 miles per hour wind and constant rain uh, back in the end of May just for two nights straight and honestly it took it took the whole thing like a champ. I stupidly put the head end of the tent against the wind and like the entire time I was in my friend's tent because he had this like massive mansion of a thing. I was just watching the little <laughs> the little Nemo tent just getting blown flat for like hours on end and just constant rain beating against it and the whole time I thought everything was just going to be soaking on the inside because during my research I found that a lot of people were complaining about the head end cut out of the rain fly and that it was too high um, and against constant rain um, and harsh weather the the rain fly would, would actually sag and touch on the inside of the tent and then like rain and moisture would seep through and then everything would get soaked and I was really worried that that was going to happen but completely dry just nothing <laughs> I was really, I was actually really impressed. Um, so safe to say it's uh, British weatherproof. So aside from the colour and the shorter poles, and I mean the colours on this tent is just, it's so nice and it's one of the main reasons why I went for it anyway. 
Um, I know it, it shouldn't be because you're buying a tent for its usability, not the colours, but I like to have nice looking things. Uh, <laughs> so aside from the colour and the shorter poles, this bikepacking version isn't all that different from the original Dragonfly, I believe. It does have a, a an extra bit. Um, it's called a landing zone tub, and it's just a thing that you attach on the inside of your rainfly, and it's just a little space basically for you to store your gear and keep it dry. And at first I thought, you know, I wouldn't really need this, and I didn't really see the point of why they would add it, but after spending the couple of nights in, in those stormy conditions, I found this thing to be such a boon. I was so grateful to have it because this, the ground was just completely soaked and it was soggy and completely muddy. And being able to just put all your gear, you know, outside still and have room on the inside of the tent, but knowing that your gear is completely dry, priceless, priceless. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, not much else to say about it. I, I said I wasn't going to do a review, but has that's a mini review for you. So yeah, it's a great tent so far, no complaints. It's British weatherproof, so if anybody's looking for that information, um, there you have it. Um, yeah, get out there and hike, and if you want to know more about the tent, just reach out and ask, innit? Till next time.